Japan is selling the United States Patriot missiles because Ukraine needs more of them. Japan is expected to send several dozen Patriot interceptors to the U.S. The sale helps backfill a depleted supply and gives Washington some breathing room while it tries to help Ukraine strengthen its air defenses. The Patriot missile defense system is top of the line. With its many upgrades and enhancements over the years, the Patriot can take down jets, helicopters, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and drones. During one engagement in Ukraine, a single Patriot battery took out five aircraft in five minutes. The Patriot missile defense system and its intercepting missiles were developed by U.S.-based defense contractors. Those contractors, RTX and Lockheed Martin, licensed Mitsubishi to make them in Japan. After defeat in World War II, though, Japan adopted a pacifist military footing on the world stage and barred the sale of any weapons to a country in conflict. But the times, they are a-changing, and Tokyo does not want to hamper the growing military ties with the United States, especially not while China may feel emboldened by what Russia is doing in Ukraine. So, the ruling Liberal Democratic Party is changing Japan's official policy. Under the new rules, weapons manufactured under license in the land of the rising sun can be sold back to the countries where the weapons were originally made. In this case, that just so happens to cover the PAC-2 and PAC-3 interceptors Ukraine so desperately needs. However, the actual physical missiles Japan is selling the U.S. won't end up in Ukraine. Instead, they will be used to refill the supply of missiles the U.S. keeps on hand to cover conflicts in the Pacific, which frees up other missile stockpiles that can then be sent to Ukraine. Fortifying its air defenses could be the difference between victory or defeat for Kyiv. The war in Ukraine is at a stalemate on the ground, and Russia is settling in for a repeat of last winter, when it fired a seemingly endless volley of missiles, drones, and artillery at civilian infrastructure, forcing Kyiv to decide between protecting its troops or its civilians.